Oh, playing Pat G. Strong player. I do have a plus score against Pat G. I believe this is Gulia Pop. Okay, this is going to be a like very serious rapid game. I think Pop G is also a streamer, if I'm not mistaken. Higher rated opponent too. I do want to manage my time. I'm muting alerts. Okay, bishop e5. I was studying this line recently. I actually, man, I discovered a new idea in this line. And then I, I only saw the new idea and I didn't look further. But this is a new idea, c4. It's like a super rare move. The engine just spat it out. And the only thing I know is it's bad for black to take the bishop. If, if black takes the bishop, I'll have to figure out why. I meant to prepare this um, more deeply. Anyway, okay, it's cool to get a, a bit of opening prep. Like a pretty new London idea. I'm provoking my opponent to take their time. I do remember the engine is giving like a very slight edge to, to white if black finds the right line. Yeah, e6 I think is the best move. Now do I take probably bishop g3. I'll have to look at this line in more depth. Yeah, it's too bad the bishop wasn't taken. It could have been a fun position. I'll share after the game what would happen. So now, okay, knight takes g3 is not played. I could consider this move. I think I'd like to take with pawn. Keep a pawn in the center. I'm actually calculating like takes 95. Not sure how great that is for me though. Takes 95, takes, takes, not sure. I could play c5 as a move. It does relieve the pressure on the center though. c5, bishop, c7. Takes ninety five. I think I'll start with c five. It's kind of an intuitive decision. I do make the prospect of e five a bit more enticing for black. I mean, the hope is that I have this ninety five move. Do I want to play it right away? Take first. Realizing, wait, takes, takes, 95, takes, takes, g6. So maybe bishop b5. Yeah. I probably have to castle. It's going to be a, a struggle in the center. Like the, the whole focus is around this e5 break. I don't think black can play it right away. But taking verse makes sense. e5 comes. Yeah, and I don't want to take the knight. I'm probably a bit worse here. I take. Taking looks very bad. But I might have to take. Take and then rookie one. Yeah, black has a center and the bishop pair. Take and queen a4. Start by taking. I also take... I don't want to concede the bishop though. Queen a4. There's queen b3. Queen b3 could be interesting. Hmm. 
So the idea is I'm preventing e4 because knight takes e4. I might have ideas of knight e4 like anyway. And I want to get the rooks to the center quickly to pressure the pawns. The thing is, if black adequately defends the pawns, I'm probably just much worse. But if I can somehow like win a pawn or provoke a pawn to move and get a center square, maybe it's playable. Like rookie one is probably an idea. For example, bishop e6, rookie one, and I'm threatening to take the pawn. There's queen f6 there. That doesn't look good for me. Uh, I think my whole idea just fails. Unless, wait, I have this move first. Uh, oh, my whole idea just fails. Because I'd probably play this move first. I want to take, but knight a5 is very, very strong. Just sacking a piece doesn't work. So, yeah, not a happy moment. And I want to take again, but rook b8. The tactics are all in black's favor. So... Uh, it's going to be tough to come back here. Like, even though I'm not down material, it's just such a good position for black. A file, a bishop a6 might happen. Maybe I can resort to some trickiness. Like, at least there's a target. Maybe queen a4 at some point. Maybe rook b8 looks playable. Rook b8 takes, takes, okay. That's also playable. Yeah, there's so many things to be concerned about here. Queen c3 runs into this. So let's play queen e3, defending some targets. Have a feeling this move's gonna happen. But maybe I'm barely holding things together. There's a line knight b3, a5, rook d1, a4, knight c1, like bishop a6, rook e1. I wanna play knight e2. It's possible a lot of my next moves will be defensive moves. Yeah, that's strong. I'm considering like sacking exchange. B4. I could play rook d1 immediately, actually. So then if bishop e5, I have other options. But now my queen's tied down to f2, so just have to be very tactically alert. One plan is b4, a4, b5, which is no longer possible. Rook b1 runs into bishop d3. How do I even defend? b3. b3, bishop e5. Knight f1. Knight f1, bishop d3. Wow. I think I'm just losing material. I have knight b3 right away. It's so ugly though. I'm trying knight b3. Yeah, there's so much pressure here. This was one of my original ideas. Problem, yeah, the problem is bishop e5, bishop d3. How to defend. And black's position is so strong. Rook b1. Positions like this, you just have to make the opponent like earn the win. Hold on for dear life. This move's coming though. Any way to sack? Knight c2. Knight c2 d4. 
don't hurt me. If I take, taking doesn't work. Wait, what about taking here? Bishop b1. It almost works. Knight f3, bishop b1. Rook d3, pawn d3. Knight f3. Maybe that's the best try? At least my horsies can find some life. I saw the exchange. What else to do? Oof. Bishop d4 is maybe coming, but I have queen c1. I'm just trying to hold on to my horsies. And practically, maybe there's still some hope. That's a terrifying move. Wait, can I take? Nah, taking queen takes. Ah, that's so angry. Now e5 doesn't work. I have four idea. G five might be coming. G5 is probably coming. Or not. I gotta go YOLO. Like Queen C4, Queen F5. He stops it. Take. Hmm. Nice move. I miss that one. Take, take. Oh no, my horsey. I keep queens on the board. You never know. There's always blunder possibilities. Unlikely, though. Dope. Uh, I tried to at least create counterplay, but the yeah, final position was losing. Good game. It was fun to try and get this like new London idea that I wanted to keep secret for a little bit longer. But opponent, uh, I guess, didn't didn't take the bishop, which is a poison piece. Uh, let's just show the line that after yeah it's crazy like when i i think the way i discovered this line because i was analyzing a recent game where my opponent played knight h5 and i just turned on the engine 
And c4 is one of the top moves. Oh, but it's only after bishop e5. Yeah, so bishop e5, f6 is the main line. And then here, c4 is a top computer move, which before a few days ago, I had never seen before. Um, it's only been played a handful of times. And yeah, the best move for black is what my opponent played. F takes e5. So let's see, the reason why this isn't good for black is white gets initiative. And after queen takes d5, bishop c4. So how does this go? Queen d6? Wow, so it's very specific. There's knight g5 hitting this and threatening this. Maybe this. Apparently, that's it's enough compensation for white. So there's one game between Gupta and Gandhi, featured knight b4, knight takes e5, knight f6, bishop b5, bishop d7. Wow, so white doesn't quite win back the piece, but white's just dominating here. Like knight a6 runs into queen h5, queen g5, rook g8, queen e6. Rook h8, knight e4, threatening mates. Threatening two different mates. Oh, that's a really funny line. So if black like forks the queen and bishop, white can choose which checkmate. This is a more aesthetic mate, taking advantage of both pins. So in the one game that featured this line, black played a6, counterattacking. And this allows white to win back the piece after takes, takes, and takes. And white has not lost a single pawn until the next move. But then after takes, takes, queen a4 check, yeah, white's in such good shape. I mean, not only up a pawn, but yeah, crushing position. So um, that was maybe what could have happened in an alternate universe. But my opponent, yeah, played very solidly, pawn e6. I played bishop g3, and after takes... Oh, I should have taken with knight. Yeah, it's the type of thing, like if I studied this line way more in depth, I, I should be prepared here. Both moves are playable, though. So, I guess in this line, the knights could get traded. Ah, this I did not consider. Takes in g3. Makes some sense. I keep the tension. And the knight's kind of out of play. c5 was just a positional mistake. I think for the rest of the game, I was worse. Yeah. Opponent played really well. Perfect game. A grandmaster level play. But I think like from the moment I played c5, like, the moves were very natural for black. I was thinking I like I could clamp down. I initially wanted to play knight e5. I think in this line takes takes knight e5. But it doesn't work because g6 and then I'm losing d4. Did we look at the rook b2 position? At what moment, though? Yeah, it was pretty, pretty dire situation. After rook f e8. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wanted to do this, but there's queen takes. Maybe it's the best. Oh, I didn't see the knight defense. Okay, it's still losing, so I don't feel so bad for missing this. Yeah, I didn't realize my knight can take the queen. So takes, takes, takes. But it's losing because after I lose a pawn, it's knights are not good at stopping the outside passer. Anything saving us for bishop e4? I don't know what moment that refers to. Pawn e4. It was hard to stop pawn e4, actually. In most of the lines, e4 is white's next move. Oh, bishop e5. Yeah, it's a very hard move to stop. 
If I ever play F4, it's just too weakening on Passant. Okay. Can't be too upset. Oh, people enjoy that one. How a Grandmaster crushes my London opening. Probably put that one on YouTube. 